Who is it? Oh, hello MTV. How's it going? Oh my god, quick, come in, come in. Before my fans get here. I, I'm only joking, I have I have no fans. Well, not for like four years until like my videos get recommended on the YouTube search page. And um, by then, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, come in anyway, you must be freezing. Even though you're, you're, you're in my ha How did you get into my house? <laughs> Welcome to my, hang on, welcome to my room. <laughs> Only joking, this is not MTV Cribs, this is the vlog. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It is day so and so, something like 81? Day 81 of the vlog. Someone told me that I should be doing a room tour. Judging that a lot has changed in my room and you've probably seen it on the vlogs. I just thought I'd talk about it because there's quite a bit I want to talk about. Okay, Google, can you turn up my centre light to 100% please? I understood. Can you turn up my centre light to 100% please? Is that right? Yes, there we go. It's not that dark in the room. It's just the camera. I'm like tripoding the whole camera, but it's a bit dangerous. I'm worried I'm gonna wax something, so I'm gonna take you off and put you somewhere where it's a bit better. Hello and welcome to my room. This room has been in progress for probably about 16 weeks. I've slept downstairs. I've slept everywhere. I've slept on the floor. I've slept on camp beds. I've had spiders crawl over my beds and me physically seeing it and then getting really scared to ask him to move my camp bed upstairs just so I'd have to sleep with the spiders downstairs. It was worth it. Uh, my room room before wasn't great and when I mean wasn't great it means that it stuff like my wardrobes were not doing great they were kind of falling apart I had so much stuff out and it was bad for my health because if you don't know <laughs> allergies are my best friend uh, I have way too many and one of them being dust it just seemed like a lot of problems were coming up I had that room for absolutely ages as well so we decided to switch it all around this is gonna be it for basically forever now I, I'm, I'm this is my dream room this is really is my dream room so I can't really see me changing it anytime soon Let's just say that. Is it done? No, it is not done. It is not done at all. I still have quite a lot of stuff to do and one of the main factors being the floor. The floor is not done. Also, I'm going to university at the same sort of time, so... And that's another thing, because I'm going to university means I'm going to have quite a lot of other stuff and I need more space to put that stuff. This also has to function as a workspace as well, because I do a lot of my freelance work in here. Meaning that needs to be a practical workspace where I can work, focus, and also make the money. And that's where I make the money. I was just making some TikToks videos for the online internet. So that's why I had the blinds down. Now they're back up and it's all shiny, like I'm entering a void. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna show you around the room, show you some of the cool stuff I've added, some of the cool stuff that's gonna be added, and some of the stuff that I actually really like and is really gonna help me in the future. Um, starting off, coasters. Who knew coasters can change your room? I have three of these. I have one on my bedside cabinet, I have one on my desk, and I have one on this cabinet here. This is a new cabinet. This cabinet holds clothes and stuff that you can fold and roll, like socks. It's literally just, Oh, that's my pants. I can't show that. So they're just drawers with some socks. It's pretty gnarly. Coasters are cool because I drink a lot of tea. If I have three cups of tea, you're going to need three coasters. And also, I don't want to ruin wood. But starting off with this cabinet is pretty cool. As I just showed you, it has sock drawers in it. All of them are with socks in it. That was sarcasm. Ayo. This is a nice mirror I got from Ikea. And obviously here, I have my bookshelf. Uh, the, I got these from Typo, I believe. They're on sale. Yeah, that's right. I read. I'm quirky and cool like that. I always have a plant here. I have plants everywhere. You may you may begin to notice. I got this new book today. Nosh for students. That is a great title. That is the title, right? Yeah. It's a fun student cookbook and it's for students. It has meals and it has some really cool stuff in there like scones, fruit salad, Italian soup, screenplay books, AO. This is an amazing book. If you're a fan of David Attenborough, uh, basically everyone in Britain should be a fan of David Attenborough. Actually, no, every, and mark that, everyone in the world should be a fan of David Attenborough. Is The Trial by Franz Kafka, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Blade Runner the book. This is the Get Out screenplay. It's a masterpiece. Next is a very important book to me. I can't read it because it's in Italian and I failed Italian. This is a Italian comic book and it was given to me uh, by my sister. She got this when she was visiting a friend in Italy and I still have it today. So, so yeah, that's my bookcase, shelf, book sharks, my book sharks, they're my book sharks. You probably saw it in the vlogs last week, but I have my massive pin board. A lot of stuff has been added since, but uh, you've, you just go back and watch that video. Yeah, this is my bedside cabinet. You may have seen it uh, recently. My eczema is not great, as well as tissues, because my nose is not very nice. Plants, as always. Another coaster. And also these function as drawers as well, so inside the drawers I have my books, just in case I have a weird dream and I want to write it down if I have another idea and I want to write it down as well. Beside it is the ukulele. Again, if you've seen this vlog, I'd probably love to talk about it a lot, but this is my jungle. It's pretty cool, it sits on my side and I absolutely love it. 
and I water it every day. My battle station, this is my studio editing suite. For starters, we have this puppy here, but this is the grid. It's very cool, I got it from Ikea, and you get loads of different attachments to put on it. On the grid, I have loads of different stuff, all the way from tape to cables, to my pens and pencils and other utensils. Hey, that's just sad, isn't it? Also, it's resting with a think cap that gets everything lifted off my desk. Still means my desk is a mess. For some reason, I have a random light bulb on my desk. Don't even get me started on the drawers. They're not even sorted out. Hey, Google. Hello. Annyeong haseyo. That's hello in Korean. Thanks, Google. What a nice guy. And you may be wondering, Max. Max, hang on, hang on a second. Why do you have a Google Home? Number one, I can turn on my TV. I'm not going to do it now. I don't want to do it. But also, okay, Google, turn off all my lights. All right. Turning six lights off. Turn my lamps to blue. Um, tell me that's not cool. This is crazy. Philips Hue lights. Yeah, uh, we got some Philips Hue lights. So they fit in my, my desk lamp, my bedside lamp, and also this one here. This is a Philips Hue, but it only does like, it doesn't do different colors. This one's just like cold and warm. It's kind of like an ambience light. I, I'm a very big fan of them. I love them a lot. I said earlier that we're not finished um, getting like moved in completely. Well, we've kind of finished with this. So basically, stuff that I don't want to put on show that I'm worried might get broken goes in here. It's for bags and stuff, like my drone, uh, my lenses are stored in here, my light, I don't even know what it's going to be, like boxes that I need to keep with instructions in them. And then also, um, D my DVDs that I want to have out in my collection. So ones that I'm probably going to watch or going to have to watch because of my course. So I got this really cool book so, and it fits in perfectly. Look, I don't understand how perfect that fits in there. And these cubby holes is more kit stuff that I like gear, like my filters and you know, my cookie cutters and GoPro gear. Uh, but yeah, I'm insanely lucky. Um, but it's taken a long time. A lot of hard work has gone into this. But yeah, it's finally nice to have a nice space to kind of feel at home in. So, that about does it for today. Thank you for joining me, MTV. Thank you for joining me as always. If you're new around here, well, it would be strange that you're already looking at my room for a first video. That's it. I don't always do this. Um, but I do have loads of other videos, so make sure you go check them out on my channel. Click my little picture, and it shows you the rest of my videos. Some cool ones there, some bad ones there. 50-50, really. You never know. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you tomorrow. This week's a good one. I'll see you later. And goodbye. Woo.